Uh, also together with us, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kok, the parents of uh, Teresa Kok, who is now uh, in detention. Just let me say a few words first. We are gathered here to condemn in the strongest uh, possible terms the arrest of uh, Teresa Kok, Raja Petra, uh, Tan Hun Cheng, under the Internal Security Act, and the attack on the media with the three warning notices to Sin Chiu, The Sun, Suara Keadilan, and the blocks. <音>我们是来对强烈的谴责在呃特殊区罗杰佩特拉呃陈云锦陈云锦在那边把钱把你被逮捕跟呃像呃报章特别是新州呃两报跟呃苏尔卡迪兰你是部的警告书 为什么不应该被采取行动跟对所有的乱乱的这个侵犯他们的权利呃in three days time is supposed to be the 916 sky change 变天 sky change the big political transformation but four days before that Bakla has uh, orchestrated a sky change of his own. And to launch this crackdown against freedom of expression, diversity of views, dissent, and criticism. This is this crackdown symbolizes the utter failure of the Abdullah Premiership. In order to honor his pledge to bring about a more open, accountable, and democratic society, it shows that how little has changed in the five years that he has become Prime Minister. As all the repressive laws, structures, institutions have remained intact, awaiting for them to be reactivated, although they have been put in abeyance until yesterday. It took Dr. Mahate more than six years to abandon his ABC pledge Amana Brase Chekap clean, trustworthy and efficient. Come. Come. Yang berobat. Come. Yang berhata. Yes, second, as I said, Dr. Mahathir more than six years to abandon his uh, ABC facade of a clean, efficient and trustworthy government in the 1987 Operation Lalang. With over 100 militians were arrested and three newspapers were closed down. But yes, the, but it took Pakla less than five years to launch a mini, up to now, up to now, a mini of Lalang with three ISA arrests and three newspapers under threat. For Mahathir, it took more than six years to show his repression, his colors of repression. For Pakla, it's taken less than five years as Prime Minister from October 31st, 1983 to now, less than five years, to show his 
face of depression. But this current mini ox lalang is completely even more unjustifiable than the 1987 Oxlala, which is already unjustifiable. This is even more unjustifiable. Number one, it, it violates Pakla's Park Park uh, 2004 landslide, <clears throat> 2004 general election landslide victory and mandate that he will break from Mahathir's past and show that it's different, that it will be more democratic Malaysia that he will ensure. Number two, this is a, a even a greater synthetic crisis than 1987. Arising largely from his own mishandling and failure as a prime minister, his weakness as a prime minister. There is no racial tension, there is no religious tension. In 1987, as a result of a, a few months of orchestrated polarization in the country, there was some racial and uh, religious uneasiness and even tension. You don't have it today? Where are they? No, no racial, religious tension whatsoever. And uh, this is also a height of irresponsibility when the focus of the whole country and the government should be how to tie Malaysia through a, this great economic crisis. Instead, we have this generation of this complete synthetic crisis, a, ops, uh, a mini ops lala, to try to preempt the 916 Sky change, huh? Chinese painting sky change. When actually, what he's trying to do is use this crackdown to short his position in Amno to resolve the Amno, not Amno alone, but but Pakla's personal crisis, because his position as Prime Minister is being challenged internally in Amno. With the, in particular, in the last few days, when the Amno Vice President Mohidin uh, openly <coughs> called on him to step down earlier than the transition plan he had announced for June 2010 and, and clearly he has got the support of the Deputy Prime Minister Najib and his position is now very shaky. But that is no justification for the launching of this mini Ops Lalang 2008.